Hi, and welcome to Discovering Dataflex number 25 with me, Johan Brodfeldt. Today we are going to uh, create a graph in a web framework view. But this is not about the graphs per se, it's more about uh, how to take external libraries and implement them into Dataflex. So what we want to do is we want to show this graph and when I click on the graph I want something to happen on the screen. So let's begin with uh, taking a look at the code. In uh, the Google graphs we have this simple sample so we're just going to use that for, for now. And you have a lot of different charts you can select by and play with later. First of all, you need this line that is including the uh, loader JS from Google that loads the charts. And you also have this code uh, that will render the graph. We, uh, the important thing is this part that adds the rows, so we have the data we're going to use. And then the chart is drawn down here and uh, in this element. So we need an element called chart div to render the pie chart in. Okay, so what we do is we go into the index HTML. It's in the app HTML library. And here we add this loader and the rest of the JavaScript I've moved to a new file called graph.js and the, the JS library. So you can look here and I created a library called JS where I have the graph.js file. And here I basically put the rest of the code with chart draw and we have the data but I've commented out because I want to get the graph data uh, from our web object. And in order to be able to run this function, because I put it uh, inside a function, let's see, uh, uh, you have a charge loader current, everything of this I have put inside a function called run graph. So I want to execute this run graph when the page is loaded. And I can do that by setting the PB server on show to true and that then set the PS client on show to run graph. Then uh, Dataflex will run this function when the view is loaded. And now I need the uh, data and the um, charge div. So I need this to be visible. So I have created a fun procedure called refresh graph. And uh, here is the string of the data I want to send to the server. And you can use data from any data source from the database and just as long as you create a, um, a string that looks like this. And then I have created this hidden uh, value where I just put this string. And in order for this uh, to render I have this refresh graph in on show procedure. So this one gets called and when everything is on the screen this run graph is executed on this data so then it can find the data here and put the graph there. Let's see how it does that. Uh, run graph goes in and call this draw chart. And here I have a data object that is the graph data and uh, this is the graph data input field here that is hidden. I have to uh, 
change the single quotes into double quotes because otherwise it won't be valid JSON and I also need to add this uh, data and the uh, surrounding parentheses in order to make it a valid JSON and this is because uh, the add rows cannot handle a string it wants an array uh, so I need to just put the graph data data as this object into the add rows so in this way I get exactly this data into this add rows which is what we want and uh, now we should actually be able to run this code and see a graph click the graph view and here is the graph now I would like to have something happen when I click these elements so I want to give some feedback to the server and uh, therefore I create this procedure on click you pressed ASID so whatever I clicked I want to have a show line right now but you can save this in the database and then call refresh graph and show the updated graph so if I click onions for example in the graph then I might uh, add one onion to the database and then read the data from the database again and update the graph for example so you could play around with that and uh, but now I just want to make sure I get this message when I click on the JavaScript so how is that done uh, I need a event handler which is this one and this is not part of the uh, demo that we got here uh, something I've read from some research in uh, in the Google library but you can say uh, create a select handler for instance like this and when it's clicked I get the chart selected item into select the item and we can just uh, get uh, value data selected item row zero we will get the information about the selected item and I can use this o web app o graph which is my object o web main panel which is this one graph box which is this one and fire the on click procedure which is this one so this is the way you uh, execute procedures from the JavaScript right down to the Dataflex core and uh, you could also do this uh, set uh, properties so I can use oh, graph button set uh, pp render to false for instance and then it will, will be hidden so I won't see the graph anymore so let's try this and see how that works graph and now I click like the pepperoni and now I get a yes you pressed pepperoni and the graph is disappeared and in, if I don't want this I can just refresh the page and I can click this and now I get you pressed pepperoni and I clicked onions and I clicked olives and then I can have an order button click and now I've ordered my pizza so this is how you create a, a graph or some other integration with some external library using the JavaScript framework of Dataflex and calling back to the procedures inside of the server Dataflex code
hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye